Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to try the Sephora Shia Hair Sleeping Mask. And I'm gonna give you guys my honest review. I've actually never tried a hair sleeping mask before or any type of hair mask before. Um, if you've watched me, um, you know that I'm not a big hair person, like I don't do much to my hair, but um, I'm just starting to appreciate all things beauty now. Beauty isn't just about makeup and what's on your face, but really from head to toe. I got that from my friend Vanessa from Vanessa Beauty, so in case you guys wanna check her out. But yeah, I love that idea, how everything is from head to toe and we really need to take care of it. Um, I apologize if you hear the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse singing in the background because I am in my bathroom and my daughter is currently watching TV, so that's why. But anyways, let's get on with it. I'm really excited to try this. This is an overnight mask, which means I have to sleep with it on. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it's gonna be overall really uncomfortable, but we'll see. So the first step here is to tear off the bottom half of the mask which has the cream solution that you're going to put on your hair. So you're going to put the cream on dry hair focusing on the bottom half or the ends of your hair and then you're going to put the cap over your hair and let it soak overnight. If you guys notice, I did try to smell the cream. There's really no scent to it. If you've ever tried a Shea Butter hand cream, that's pretty much the smell, just very light scent. So each of the Sephora hair mask targets a specific hair concern without really weighing down the hair, and I totally agree. The cream didn't feel heavy or greasy or oily at all. It just felt like it absorbed really well into the hair. There's six different types of hair mask available. There's a coconut mask, there's a shea mask, a rose mask, an acai mask, dragon fruit mask. Ooh, that's interesting. So I have my hair fully coated in the shea butter hair mask or cream. And um, I can tell you right now, I have so much hair that this one package isn't really enough to coat um, every strand evenly. And it's said to focus on the bottom half of the hair, which I did. So the next step is to put on the mask. So this is what the mask looks like. Looks pretty cute. And I'm just gonna put this on and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow and see how it goes. And I'll let you guys know what my thoughts are about this hair mask. But this is what it looks like. It's not cute, guys. It ain't cute. But hopefully by tomorrow, <laughs> I'll look cute and have fresh, shiny hair. So I can't wait. So um, I'm supposed to leave this on overnight and then tomorrow it's just a rinse without shampoo. I'm hoping that it doesn't come off while I'm sleeping and the product gets in the pillow, so we'll see. So hopefully this will work out and yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. See you guys tomorrow, bye. So this is the next day after I've done the overnight mask and let me tell you, I do have some thoughts about this. Um, first off, I didn't get a good night's sleep and I realized that having the nap mask on overnight is just an inconvenience and a big hassle. And you would think it's like, oh, you're trying to get, you know, a spa moment in, but no, this is not a spa moment, okay? <laughs> um, I hated having the mask on because I was constantly aware of trying to keep it on my head. And it was very small to where when I ponytailed my hair into a bun up here, it was just 
too small and wouldn't reach down to the bottom of my head. This one was just not big enough. All it did was cover the little bun that I had on top of my head. And I would wake up and I'm like, oh no, my pillowcase, I better, you know, pull it back down. It just wasn't comfortable at all. So if I were to do another hair mask, it's not gonna be overnight for sure. I probably slept for six hours last night and I could do that in the morning time while I'm doing the dishes, making breakfast, doing all of that. And by the time I'm done with my day, I can go and wash off my hair. So my advice to you is if you're gonna do a sleep mask, do it in the morning time this is not for sleeping they need to call this a morning hair mask because there's no way you're gonna have a good night's sleep thoughts about this specific mask it's not very hydrating this says it's a invigorating and anti-breakage mask what I noticed immediately is that my hair felt very like shiny when I first took off the mask it felt um, smooth and silky but after i washed it off and i just rinsed it off i didn't put shampoo or conditioner again um, i just rinsed it off and after that it just felt normal like just meh for me um it still left my hair the way it pretty much was nothing like extraordinary or mind-blowing or it, this is a meh for me. I think that I would want to try all the other hydrating um, hair masks though. They have other types of hair masks by Sephora and I would really love to try that because there's one for hydrating and I think that's what I want. This one is supposed to, you know, help with split ends and kind of strengthen your hair. It feels rough to me and I don't know if that's part of trying to strengthen your hair you know from root to tip i was kind of hoping for a more hydrated shiny look at the end of the hair mask and that did not meet my expectations so maybe this invigorating and anti-breakage is just it's not for my hair type maybe it'll work for some for others i feel like if you have very brittle hair it would work for them i loved the cream though it didn't feel like oily or greasy i feel like the cream was being absorbed by the hair so i think this mask is not a type of mask where you notice the difference right away i feel like it has the ingredients that's really gonna penetrate into your hair. That's gonna really help it, you know, be stronger over time. But like a one-time mask isn't gonna do anything. But for me, I would definitely try to look into the other types of masks and I'll try to review each and every one of them for you. If you'd like, let me know in the comments below. When I do hair masks, I really look for instant gratification. I don't know what I was expecting. I wanted like intense volume and also a hydrated, silky, smooth, dark hair. That's what I wanted from my hair mask and this one just didn't do it for me. So, yeah, so that is my final review on this Sephora hair mask. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you're new here what are you doing hit that subscribe button join the family i post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews and some unboxings here and there hopefully you guys can stick around more there's always something to learn here on my channel and with that said i hope to see you guys back in my corner soon bye